Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio. Welcome to my gallery and I have a 16 by 20 inch pre-prime black canvas and some beautiful colors that I'm going to replicate by putting some white in the bottom. That is a blue I made up and I just added white pearl or white metallic and one was Sargent's and the other was Anita's. And I did unplug finally my Mysterious, which you can't buy anymore anyway, so sorry about that. And I'm just going to keep putting the smallest amount of white in between because I don't have a desire to have a humongous amount of paint on this canvas. No sticky wrap stuck to my bottle, please. I did not get nearly enough orange. And I'd like to put the yellow. Oh, really? The yellow right next that's plugged now. <laughs> must be must be time to use a different one. Okay. So I didn't also I'm gonna use some white enamel. I was gonna use some white enamel. Maybe I'm just gonna use some of this sergeant's that's almost gone. Sergeant's pearl. And that's better. And then some of this neon. I think it's a folk art. I used to use artist loft, but right now it's a folk art. And I have been enjoying my new golden magenta. And I just add whatever looks similar in another product to thicken it up because it's a fluid art product. Fluid paint. Okay, I'm not going to worry about that. I will go ahead and use a little more white. Maybe some more blue. If it's open, I will use the purple. Yes. Whoops. <laughs> okay, never mind. And the white, and I will attempt to finish up with my multi-surface acrylic neon from Folk Art. Now, this is going to be interesting because I want my, my negative space to be black. I'm going to just put a little more purple flash from Folk Art in at the very end there. I really, really want that yellow. Tweezers do often work, but this time I'm going to have to take the top off, take that plug right out of there, and worry about cleaning my tweezers later, or sooner, or right now. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to put a layer of white between me and that yellow and just a touch of the folk art. Yeah, a little bit's coming out. Touch of the folk art orange color shift that I'm gonna buy some more of after not using it much for years. Come out, you. Okay, you're gonna be like that, aren't you? Okay, so I'm gonna start by shaking my bottle so I don't have flow at all. Doing my two corners, which I probably if I'd had more time and realized I was going to do this, I probably would have done it well in advance. If I just touch the bead of paint that's on the spatula to the edge of the canvas, I can usually get enough paint going over the side so that I can then do a semi-good job of covering it, which is all I really need at this point. Oh, I didn't put in my favorite ingredient. I wanted some gold in there, and I did clear my bottle, so the gold is going in in a second. Alright, I'm quiet. I'm sorry. I want this part to be over with. I love you guys. There's almost 90,000 of you. Thank you very much for subscribing. Appreciate that. Hope you check out my playlist. There's over 1,500 videos there, arranged by topic and and uh, topic genre and by the hundred. Okay, so I'm gonna remember to I'm gonna just throw that in the bucket. I'm gonna bring back my gold, my cup. Put my gold in there. Squeeze it right down the middle. 
think I'm going to see how much, if anything, I can get out of my sergeant's bottle of pearl. Which probably won't make a darn bit of difference. Let's just push that over there. But we got some. Now, my plan, other than to get rid of that large object that's in there and wipe off my tweezers, because I'll need those in a minute, I'm pretty certain. I love the stainless steel tweezers. They're on the Amazon link. I know what it costs to you if you shop there. They're on the Amazon link underneath the link tree, which is right under the video. Shouldn't be much of an issue to get there if you want to. Helps me out if you shop there too. These are stainless steel. They're not that much more than anything else. So. One loop-de-loop, two loop-de-loop-de-loops. I want more magenta in there already, I can tell. I remember now, it was giving me trouble. It's still giving me trouble, and I still want it in there. Like, really a lot. So much that I'm willing to make you wait, and I'm sorry about that, but... I love you. As much as I love you, the paint comes first right now. Still not coming out very well. Okay, well, we'll take what we can get. Let's see how far that'll go. There's a lot of neon pink in there. It's not exactly ring pour for sure. It's more, definitely way more of a traveling ribbon pour. If that covers, I'm going to wind up with extra paint again. <laughs> My excuse every time I do a new painting with colors in the dish left over in the dishes, hey, they're leftovers, I gotta use them. Good, it's pushing some of that white. I kinda wanna put some black right up the middle of that. Let's see what happens. But I think what I'm gonna do instead. Grab the small edge catcher that I've got right over here. Not worry about that black paint. Let all of this travel down that way. Rock my edge so it covers. Send it right back in again. Let's do the same thing on the next section. Matching up the wet painted spot to the edge catcher spot. Sort of, kind of. Here comes the paint. That might be a big mess. Yeah, I'm going to get a little messy. And I can watch where that flow goes. Tip it right down to fill the void, which is kind of what I want. I can use that edge catcher to catch any paint. If I can pick it up. Actually, you know what I really want to do? I just want to take the excess coming right off of that. Sometimes I use cottage cheese lid containers. That's pretty. I'm good with that. Cool. Um, so I'm going to do it from the other side, I guess. What am I going to do? I'm going to grab a skewer. These are just tipped paintings. They're not. I'm not going to put chain in here or anything. But I am going to drag that color over to the edge. I kind of want some turquoise. Yes, I do. I want some turquoise. Let's put it right there. Ha ha ha! We'll just go right around it. And I'm going to see if I can get some more magenta to come out of that bottle. And 
maybe a little more white. No, nope, not that white. Where's my Anita's? There it is. Cool. I love it when, when I can actually find what I'm looking for. And I have some lighter purple that I didn't use, that I used before, that I liked. Maybe a little more of that turquoise. I was kind of thinking to put the um, Prussian blue in there, but right at the moment, yeah, I did that. <laughs> Now the question is, do I want to put some black in there? And the answer is kind of. So let's put some in there, just as an experiment. I'm going to grab my spatula, take the paint off my edge catcher, let it drip right over the side. It'll just wind up on my Lola Fee silicone mat, which is okay. Throw that other spatula in the bucket. My edge catcher up again. Just sort of watching where the paint goes. Knock it right off. That's, I want to interfere with that black. <laughs> don't just want to interfere with that black. I'm going to do something dark. I want to find something that's open. Oh cool, the Prussian blue is open. It's a Because I Can moment, and that is the name of my first book on the Amazon link. Next to my second book, called Unlimited Possibilities, and this is not open either. <laughs> yeah, okay. That is my favorite purple color shifting folk art paint. Sometimes some rogue elements are the, are the things that make things the most interesting. You gotta just move all of that up and over. I like the cells the Prussian blue makes. The, the Prussian blue often makes cells. I want to take my bottle and just go for it. My bottle of blue, purple flash. But I think instead. I'm just going to break up what I've got here a little bit. I might clear my tip and use some of it, actually, if I have a proper skewer, which I sort of kind of don't. Some part of me says it shouldn't happen like that. There, I like that. If I swiped any part of this, I'd probably be able to get... Uh, that's a bubble. That is not a thing, right? That is a tenacious bubble if it's not a thing. Alright, so it's definitely time to torch if I don't have anything else I want to do. I had a nice little tool. I still have a nice little tool. I think it must be time for some... Oh, wow. I put my lid down and I got all kinds of stuff going on. See if I can use use my skewer to provoke a few tendrils to come out to play just backwards and forwards, maybe inside and outside. When the black and the um, color shifting purple flash 
come together, they make a wonderful blue. I just want to fill that right in down there. Don't ask me why. It's just a sensation I have. I haven't done tendrils in like this on this style piece in a while. I pretty much always try and sneak a few spirals in. I often try to get my paint bottles out of the way, but it doesn't always work. That's actually pretty neat. I'm good with that. I love you guys. There's almost 90,000 of you subscribed. If you uh, have an interest in purchasing a piece of artwork or a lesson, or you have a question you'd like to ask me other than on the community board, please feel free to use my email address. It's below the Linktree link. That's the first blue link under the video. I want to put some dots in there. Why don't I just do that? few dots never hurt anything. I think sometimes they are very helpful indeed. Helps if you don't drag the skewer. That's my timer telling me I've got two minutes. I guess today's the day I find out if the neon pink shows up when it dries on black. Put a few spirals in my edges and maybe on my inside too. Yeah, that's not hurting my feelings. I love you guys and you're going to be gone soon. So if you share my videos, know it's a big assistance to me when you watch the videos when they come out on the notifications. That's a huge assistance. The algorithm reacts to that nicely. It gives me better placement, and I really appreciate it when you do that. When you like my videos, that means you give the thumbs up. So please, if you can manage to remember that, that would be awesome. I probably, I try really hard to like to add a thumbs up to everybody's video that I like. It adds it to my liked playlist too, so I can go back and find it again later. I think it must do the same thing for you. Those little dots are so cute and charming. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining me. This is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. Happy I decided to use up my leftover paints. And, uh, yeah, there's a little bit left, but that's okay, because I've got sticky wrap. No, that's not mold. Those are snowmen. And if I seal that up for tomorrow, I bet I can come back and use it. And I'll just keep right on adding spirals until I get bored with that idea, which could mean just doing it indefinitely, basically, because I just love spirals. What can I say? They're pretty subtle, though. Except for sometimes when they're not. You guys take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Please look for 1,500 videos on my created playlists. On my channel, look for Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group on Facebook for if you are a student. Look for Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and More if you're interested in shopping Fine Art America or Pixels.com, uh, which you can find underneath the link tree along with pic, uh, Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links. I love you guys. I hope you come again. Uh, look for the end screen exhibition video that will share with you what the drawing prices are for anyone who decides to contribute to help keep the studio going. You'll be auto automatically entered. I love you guys. I'm sure this stuff I forgot. Um, <laughs> community board has tomorrow's video and so does Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group. Most times. I'm going to torch release the bubbles in the paint and you guys are going to go on, be gone and maybe, just maybe, I'll make some patterns from heating it. Good colors.